What's up everyone? Welcome to Buzzy Games. Buzzy Games Beth here. Today, I'm going to teach you guys how to make a fairly simple combat system. Well, I guess you could just say it's more so of a right punch. So what we're going to do here is spawn in a dummy rig, click on build rig, I'm going to do R15, and then of course we're going to click on animation editor. You can name your animation editor folder to whatever you want. I'm just going to do right because it's the right punch for me. Um, the animation name doesn't really have any kind of effect to your um, to the script or anything. It's just for you to take note of. Cool. So once you have that open, um, you can you know move the limbs to however you want it to animate. I'm not the greatest animator out there, so please don't blame me for it. Um, but I'm going to animate it so that it is a right punch, and then I'm just going to go ahead and speed it up. For you guys to see. So once we have our animation all done and set, make sure to set the animation priority to action. I know it got cut off. And then we're going to export our animation. Submit it and then take note of the uh, animation asset ID. You see that link right there? Go ahead and open it up. And then you only want to copy those numbers so that we can paste it inside of our script in just a second. So we're done with that. Feel free to delete the dummy. We really don't need it anymore. Awesome. Our animation is done. Inside of replicated storage, we're going to add a remote event. And I'm going to be renaming that to punch. So our remote event essentially anytime a player, you know, presses a key to do the animation or the punch, everybody in the server will be able to see it. They'll be able to see the punch. That's what a remote event is. Now inside of server script service, we're going to go ahead and add a script. Inside of our script, we have our variable, which references our remote event punch inside of replicated storage. And then anytime this remote event is going to be triggered, the damage that the punch does is going to be an X amount. So for me, it'll be 15. If you want to change it, if you want anything lower or higher, just change that um, number right there. Cool. So we have that done. And now inside of starter player and starter character scripts, go ahead and add a local script. Inside of that local script, we're going to add an animation object and then paste your animation ID that you just saved into there, that you just exported, my bad. Cool. And then I'm going to be renaming that to our punch because it's right punch. Now inside of our local script, we have our variable which references the right punch animation, so our punch. And then we have the script.parent and then we have humanoid and then the user input service, which is going to be the key code we press to fire or trigger that animation. We have our debounce as always because we don't want people to spam it. And then we have our remote event, so a bunch of variables. Now, for our first function, it's going to be that anytime a player presses the assigned key code, then, um, which is going to be R for me, then the animation is going to play. And then it's going to stop. So for our second function, this is going to be the touch event that fires when we're in contact with another body part. So anytime a player, or you want to hit a, another humanoid, you gotta make sure that they're only hitting it once at a time and they're not spamming it. Now if it's true, then the body part that's hit, the remote event will be triggered, so it's going to get damaged. Hop inside our game to test it out. And if I press R, my animation should load. So the animation is not the greatest here, but I mean, it works. So there's our dummy, and if we go to it, and we press R, and it should take damage. Yeah, there you go. Pretty cool. So as always, if you enjoyed this content, keep leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.